So uh, I think this one is worth a video in its own right because it's just really, to me, an indicator of uh, how how ridiculous the current identity politics situation is in this country. Not to say that there isn't serious issues, but how utterly absurd this situation has become. And it's the report that there was um, a plane flew a banner saying white lives matter over um, Manchester uh, in a game involving Burnley Football Club. And uh, it's been widely condemned. Um, I'll just read out the report from ITV then, um, offer a few of my own thoughts on this one. Because I just, I think the outrage is, is pathetic. And uh, I'll explain why after, after uh, quoting this report. Uh, so the video is by, it's by Midlands reporter Ben Chapman. Um, not sure why Midlands is covering this, it's in Manchester, but anyway. Um, police investigating an incident which saw a plane pass over the Etihad Stadium in Manchester carrying the message White Lives Matter Burnley have said no crime was committed. Of course not. Lancashire Police launched an investigation after the plane, believed to have been operated by the firm Air Ads, flew above the Etihad Stadium just after the game between Manchester City and Burnley kicked off on Monday night. On Tuesday, police said no crime had been committed. Um, in a statement, Chief Superintendent Russ Proctor said today, Lancashire Constabulary is being in liaison with Greater Manchester Police, the Aviation Authority and the Crime Prosecution Service regarding the White Lives Manor, Matter banner that was flown over the Etihad Stadium last, last night. After assessing all the information available surrounding this incident, we have concluded that there are no criminal offences that have been disclosed at this time. Well, of course it wasn't. We will continue to work with our partners at the football club and within the local authority. On Tuesday, Blackpool Airport, where Air Addis Base announced it was suspending banner towing operations with immediate effect. Stephen Smith, manager of Blackpool Council owned of the Blackpool Council owned airport, said Blackpool Airport and Blackpool Council are outraged by this incident. We stand against racism of any kind and absolutely do not condone the activity. The message was offensive and the action reprehensible. The decision to fly the banner was taken entirely by the banner flying company without the knowledge or approval of the airport or Blackpool Council. The incident happened moments after all players had taken the knee in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Many Burnley supporters and community leaders also came out to condemn the stunt. Burnley Football Club issued a strong statement condemning the banner during halftime and said the perpetrators would be banned for life if identified. Well, Captain Ben Mee spoke passionately about the incident after the match. In response to the incident, Burnley fans created a fundraiser for the Stephen Lawrence Charitable Trust with organiser Lee Briggs 33, a lifelong Claret supporter, saying he felt embarrassed by his club being associated with the banners. Racist language. Is this Twilight Zone? Is this Twilight? Um... <sighs> I, I just find that astonishing. And this is why. Um, there are some sources. I, I came across someone who was discussing this earlier, claiming that it was friends of Tommy Robinson. It may well be that there are certain unsavory groups who are behind this, right? But the fundamental message, white lives matter, um, is the source of outrage. Think about that for a second. The statement, White Lives Matter, is a source of outrage. I, I think this, this move to ban them for life, that's the sort of thing that should be reserved for the worst hooligans. There is a problem with racism in football. You know, we've had examples of um, jobs doing uh, monkey taunts and so on to black players. That sort of thing needs to be purged out. But it is utterly insane. And I think the symbol of where we're at, that so many of the people involved in this, I'm talking about the authorities, um, are, are just jumping over themselves to 
to show how woke they are or to show how outraged they are by the, the racist and offensive message. So, in the report, and I'll put a link in the video, um, just caught another person involved in this. Um, I, I, I just find it astonishing that there is outrage over this. Yeah, the former Burnley captain, Frank Sinclair, who's black, says this was almost a jibe at Black Lives Matter, implying that Black Lives Matter has said White Lives Matter don't matter, which is not true. Okay, so if that's not Black Lives Matter's message, then just say that, just clarify it, just correct it, whatever. But it is um, twisted in the most extreme way that a message simply saying that white lives matter can be so morphed in some sort of symbol of hate. I think the people who done this um, probably had the intention of actually creating this stunt in order to attract the inevitable outrage to prove the point that there is double standards. I don't know what they're thinking is, but I assume that's what it was about. They haven't been identified, and now with these threats of arrest, I don't know whether, what, what's going to happen, but... Well, with these threats of arrest, the police have now said no offence was committed. So what does that indicate? No offence was committed. They presumably paid for the banner, so they didn't steal it. You know, there was no theft involved. They wasn't flying recklessly. Yes, it was to coincide with the kneeling gesture at this game. I just think it's Twilight's own madness. Because if you actually want to get into the nitty gritty of it, the concept of white lives matter, consider the north of England, consider the grooming gangs scandal of, the, of recent years. The overwhelming majority of victims of that have been young white girls. Now, those girls were targeted very specifically by racist British Pakistani men who felt that they were easy because they were white girls. Of course, it doesn't mean all British Pakistani men were involved. I'm well aware of that. I always make that caveat. Consider the racist murders which I've quoted before. Three young white teenage lads whose murders didn't get an inkling of the attention that the murder of Stephen Lawrence got. But equally evil, equally wrong, and equally racist. So, being outraged by the statement Why Lives Matter is an insult to the victims of those things, those crimes. There's a few important questions around this. Firstly, the amount of police sources that were used, resources. It's clearly a waste of police time and resources. I mean, I just can't believe the, the, the response to this by all the authority figures involved. In a statement, I'll read this out again. In a statement, Chief Superintendent Ross Proctor said, Today, Lancashire Constabulary has been in liaison with Greater Manchester Police, the Aviation Authority, and the Crown Prosecution Service regarding the White Lives Matter, Matter banner that was flown over the Etihad Stadium. What I see here is a major disconnect. Public sentiment and the sentiment of the authorities involved in this, the police, um, football association, footballers and all those who are virtue signalling, there's a massive disconnect between them and public sentiment. And my basis for that is if you look at the news reports on this, the vast majority of opinions are that it was that it shouldn't have been an issue. Now I am not saying that the stunt was the right thing to do. I would have preferred a banner saying all lives matter itself. But it is absolutely outrageous hypocrisy for it to be okay that we have a movement called Black Lives Matter 
which is ethnocentric, whatever way it's glossed over, that's what it is, that is attracting so much virtue signaling and so much pandering, and yet the statement of white lives matter attracts charges of racism. It is ethnocentric, but it's an ethnocentric response to ethnocentrism. And the double standards are outrageous. You know, this sort of stuff, all it does is um, push people into identity politics. Because it makes white people think, a lot of white people, that the, the double standards is just so glaringly obvious. If a Black Lives Matter group of protesters had done the same thing, you know, hired a small plane, flew that over the stadium, it would not be denounced as racist, it would be applauded. So I'm, I have to be honest, I'm rather disgusted by the response. The Fox outrage. Let's reserve outrage for actual racism. And the fact they donated money to the Stephen Lawrence Charitable Trust. As if this was a hate crime, as if it was... Um... The police have a lot of answers, uh, a lot of... What I don't understand is they've now determined no crime was committed, and yet the day before, the day before they're talking about involving the Crime Prosecution Service. Madness. It's absolute madness. If the statement had been something about white supremacy, I could understand the controversy, although I would still say it's a waste of resources, because I think that should be reserved for... Um, for hate crimes, but <laughs> I just can't believe it. I can't believe the disconnect between what many, many people in the public feel about this versus <sighs> it's bizarre, absolutely bizarre. I cannot think of any movement possibly with the exception of the Me Too campaign, and maybe Extinction Rebellion, although I think that polarised a lot of people. But I can't think of any movement in recent times that has had so, so, so much virtue signalling towards it by just about everyone who is a celebrity or in politics or media. That's clearly not healthy because no movement should be above criticism or scrutiny. It's, it's absolutely insane. You know, to those who were outraged, their outrage has only brought attention to it. Probably the best thing would have been to just ignore it. But then the implications of that would be white lives don't matter. And all these people who are feigning their outrage or who are outraged, their response is actually sending out the message, actually white lives don't matter. Which I'm not saying is the case, but that's the message it sends out. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. But here I find myself a centrist with many left-wing views having to defend this banner, not because I particularly approve of it, I mean, I wouldn't have done it, but because the response is so absolutely, unbelievably ridiculous. You know, if, you, if you're angered by the statement White Lives Matter, you cannot then simultaneously say, we're not saying White Lives Don't Matter. Because if that's really your view, then you wouldn't be outraged, would you? I'm increasingly stunned by what's going on in our society because of this movement. And it is absolutely not a good thing. It's not bringing about any changes. All we are seeing is mass virtue signaling and mass stupidity. Where's the thought process?
I probably won't bother monetizing this video because under YouTube's new guidelines, and I hope I'm not sound paranoid here, but under YouTube's new guidelines, this might offend um, protected people. I mean, the way things are going, um, we're all going to be lumped in the same category as white supremacists. I mean, all white people who um, don't agree with the narrative that's going on right now. We may as well be put in the same category because the way that racism is thrown around, the way it is... This has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever come across. An incident which attracted huge out outrage, displaying double standards, turns out to have not actually been a criminal offence in the first place. And I say shame on anyone who is, in the most cowardly way, trying to, um, you know, jump on the bandwagon with this one in terms of attacking it. Ben Mays, um, who's white said he was disappointed and they don't represent the club and it put the players off the job at hand. Um, and the report said that football's been united in the, the kneeling gesture. But, I mean, the bias in the report was pathetic as well. So, frankly, whoever was behind this stunt, even if it was, let's say, it was some Britain First activist, right? or EDL activists, you know, they are no bedfellows of mine. I'm not going to agree with a lot of their politics, if that is the case. But that was hardly a white supremacist statement in of itself. I don't care who the messenger was. What matters is the response. And for those who think it was a cynical stunt, they should have just ignored it. By their outrage, they've brought attention to it. Absolutely insane.